And straight back into another one. Welcome back. We are looking at the Pedigo Boomerang. So this is Pedigo's commuter city relaxed bike. Honestly, fantastic. This is on the higher end options. So you do get features like a hydraulic disc brake, things which are gonna really perform well at a higher speed. Acera shifting, so again, it's gonna shift much nicer, much more reliably than some of the lower end models. This one as well comes with the larger battery pack on the back. So you're gonna get upwards of 80 plus kilometers. So that's pretty impressive. Obviously, if you're using throttle all the time, you're gonna drain a little faster. This one also has their 750 watt motor, which doesn't look much different than the 500 watt motors, but obviously it pulls out a lot more torque. Now this one, does not go faster than 32k an hour. In the States, I believe it does, but in Canada here, it is limited to that 32, but you will get more torque and more pull from this. So with these hydraulic disc brakes, they still have a cable running on the underside to do an automatic off. So if you're throttling and pull the brake, it will stop. It'll shut down the whole motor, which is really nice. Again, I think on throttled bikes, that is pretty much a go-to you have to have just to keep it safer and more under control. Obviously, it has this huge step through frame, so it looks really easy to get onto. It looks pretty good with it too. There's some brands who make this a little janky looking, but they've kind of hid it away. It, it's there, it's noticeable, but it's not like it's in your face. It is kind of a smooth, clean system, so it's really easy to hop on and off. This one has the suspension seat post from Satori. So you're gonna be very comfortable over all the bumps as well as the balloon sized tires. So it's gonna be as comfortable as it can get for a bike without any suspension. This is a very upright sitting bike. So it comes with this really cool stem to add to the comfort to it, where you push a release switch and lift this up. And now you can actually fully modify the position and angle of the handlebars on the fly. Just push it back down until it clicks. So I've completely changed it to a more upright position, which that's the first one I've seen. It also feels pretty secure, pretty safe, which is very key if it's the handlebar, obviously. The locking mechanism makes a nice loud kind of noise to it so you know that it's worked. Um, and I think this is gonna be nice. You could get a little more aerodynamics or a couple could buy this and switch back and forth. It's gonna be very easy to find a very comfortable position for both of you. Menu-wise is very similar to all of Pedigo's stuff. So a very simple on button and then up and down. And then you can set a few modes to save, you know, trip meters and stuff like that. Very basic, but very simple, clean, clear display. And honestly, it, it looks good. Shifting is all on the left side and um, because you've always got the throttle. So even though it's a rear derailleur in America here, it is on the left side instead of the right. The bike does weigh a decent amount. I haven't weighed it itself, but with that oversized battery and motor, you are looking at a pretty hefty bike all in the back end. Does make it a little more uncomfortable to load into vehicles or push up stairs because all the weight is at the back end of the bike when you're picking it up instead of equally spread. But it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Pedigo has designed and built again, another nice bike, American kind of design and backed up, comfy seat, very upright position. This one is gonna be a little more powerful on the hills. So if you're a heavier user or you're looking to make sure you're getting up the hills faster and keeping that faster pace, it will do that. Obviously downside to that bigger motor is you will burn through battery more. So you kind of are required to make sure you have the bigger battery, but it's fantastic. Built on fenders and lights, all color matched. Rims are all color matched. The lights are a very nice setup, all LED. Unfortunately, this one is dead, so I can't turn them on for you. But someone who is looking for a super upright city bike, this is it. You're gonna be able to really position yourself comfortable on it. You're gonna be able to ride this pretty much anywhere the city will take you. Gravel paths will be fine. And you're gonna be comfy as well. That super low step over obviously means you're gonna be able to climb onto this super easy and climb off it super easy 
with a clean design and ease of access like that and easy adjustment it's hard not to pick a bike like this again you've got to tempt yourself away from that throttle from using it all the time and that's kind of the upside and downsides of throttles if the throttle's there it's very easy to just get used to using it it is pedal assist with the six modes again five assist modes and one throttle mode but it's up to you the electric bike industry is changing and it's not just for people looking for exercise with raising gas prices and blah blah, blah. this is actually now becoming more of an option for a commuter obviously at five thousand dollars you have to commit quite a year's worth of riding to really pay this off compared to some of the other bikes by pedigo but i think you'll like it say very comfortable big seat seat post suspension big tires a good gear range with a reliable shifting set to it clean lux easy step through lights fenders racks and a quick adjust stem with hydraulic brakes this really is checking all the boxes there's not many other accessories you could add to it unless you know you're going to need more storage like a front basket or something like that this is a fully loaded model at just under 5,000 Canadian and I think someone would like this if uh, if that's what they're looking for all right guys that was a brief overview of the pedigo boomerang we have one more pedigo video coming up and I would stay tuned for that because it's possibly their best-selling model i believe um so yeah subscribe and like and comment thanks